I, you know, uh, I, I'm just excited to get back out there and uh, and get back at it. You know what I'm saying? We, we uh, it was the most bitter end to a season we've ever had. You know, losing in the conference championship game uh, and losing a chance to go to the playoffs and really getting dominated in the game. Um, <clears throat> It just really left a bitter taste in everybody's mouth. Uh, so uh, it made for a, uh, uh, I don't know, an angry slash uh, chippy spring ball. And so we're just excited to, to put the pads back on and, and, and to go prove ourselves again. You know, feel like we got something taken from us uh, and uh, after we had gained so much ground. Uh, so we're excited uh, and hungry and obviously like a little bit of a wounded animal, you know what I'm saying, ready to go fight. Well, you know, if, if, if the SIAC is, is a jungle, man, they, they drop some, some more some dinosaurs and some Jurassic Parks in there. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you got coaches coming in from the NFL. You got guys with SEC ties. You got Savannah State coming back. I mean, this is it's going to be a little different this year. It's exciting. It's exciting. Uh, you know, I, I've uh, – I'm happy for Tim Bowens. Uh, Tim and I have been friends for a long time. I was a 23-year-old graduate assistant. He was the ops guy at Alabama. And, I mean, me and Tim had a lot of lunches, discussed a lot of spiritual things, financial things, football things. Uh, and so that's a great friend. That's a mentor almost uh, and someone that uh, I'm excited to see him, uh, you know, get the opportunity to be at Clark Atlanta. Uh, you know, I'm not excited about competing against him, you know what I'm saying, because we ain't going to like him that week, you know what I'm saying. But uh, – uh, but really excited about what he get, gets a chance to do there. How, how has it been since you've arrived at Albany State, just the things you guys do with recruiting day and mm. just all the ancillary stuff, ancillary stuff. Sure. It's just a lot of excitement that's been built. Well, I, I think the great thing about being the head coach at Albany State is we're in a college town. You know, we're, we're, we're kind of the one show. Uh, our players have instant influence in almost every – uh, elementary school slash junior high that they walk into and, and the same with myself uh, and we don't take that lightly uh, we're really trying to use it to inspire because uh, you google Albany Georgia and you, you, you google the uh, uh, you know it's, it's, one, it's just a fact that we're one of the poorest cities in America uh, and so we really try to take that as an opportunity to, to inspire our community uh, to make it a better place to inspire that next generation uh, and to have a spiritual impact. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Uh, and so it's a that's what, that's beyond the the winning and and the and the dollars. That that is the most important thing. And uh, building that legacy through our players and giving them a chance to see a, a eight year old or a nine year old smile. Uh, that's a big deal. And that's something that not only leaves an impression on that kid, it leaves an impression on our players. How tough was that hurricane last year? I think I <laughs> underestimated how big of an impact it actually had on Albany. Look, I, I'll, uh, I'll send you a text, you know, and show you the video of my house. Uh, um, but everybody in Albany was affected. I mean, we got tattooed by that thing. Uh, you know, one of our defensive coaches was out of his home for four months because a tree went right through the middle of his house. Uh, you know, so you take your whole team, your whole organization, you, you pack it up uh, and go to Savannah, Georgia for six days. I mean... Uh, you only do that on the backs of a great administration uh, and a bunch of players that really uh, were bought into what we were doing and, and bought into each other. Uh, you know, and so we really tried to use it as a positive. Um, but I mean, it destroyed parts of our stadium, Tyler. I mean, we, we, we still are, you know, they're, they're, the stadium's going to be fine, but, you know, the press box and the scoreboard have got to be replaced. Uh, you know, we had a gigantic uh, sinkhole in the middle of one of our end zones. Um, so, uh, you know, my, my neighbors across the street still have a blue tarp on their house, you know, so it's a you never really fully recover from those things. You just learn to deal with them. Uh, and uh, it's something that uh, was a part of our story. Georgia, the state of Georgia and football go hand in hand uh, mm -hmm. with Savannah State coming back. Uh, how, how cool is that for the conference? I, I, you know, just individually for our school, I, I, you know, I've had so many folks come up to me and talk about you know, the old rivalries with Savannah State and watching Shannon Sharp play and uh, all these uh, great games that they were witness to. So so I think people are really excited. Uh, I think it helps the strength of our conference. You know, anytime you add a, you know, a team dropping down from Division One, I, I think that's a positive. Uh, I, you know, me and Sean worked together for about a month uh, at a previous job. So, you know, we, we know each other well and have run into each other many times. And so uh, uh, I'm excited for him and his opportunity uh, to put his stamp on that place. But uh, it's fun to have another rivalry, you know, Fort Valley, Savannah State, Tuskegee, you know, it's 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 all those are uh, big big football games. 
Tell me about your quarterback position. That, 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 I don't want to say it's been in flux, but, but you've had some changes there the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, I think uh, it kind of coincided, I think, with us kind of settling down and, and winning ball games is when we settled on Kalias Williams. You know, he's a sophomore. Um, and, you know, Kalias, you know, we just looked at it. Hey, look, this guy, uh, he doesn't turn it over. Uh, and, and every drive, you know, we didn't score on every drive that he was in, but he was the one leading us to points. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to seeing him just continue to grow. I think this spring was big for him. Fall camp obviously would be big. I mean, it's his junior year. He should be the guy. Um, and, you know, he, he uh, you know, he's, you know, we play Morehouse. He's the, you know, Black College Player of the Week. You know, come back next week and, and play Clark Atlanta. Doesn't play very good. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's consistency for him. Uh, but he's a great kid, uh, and he's earned the right to be a leader on our team, and he's earned the starting job. Uh, a lot of expectations on paper for you guys this year. Do uh, you guys have what it takes to, to kind of live up to that? Oh, it's a, you, you can't say no to that question, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a good football team we got, uh, and I think uh, that's going to get tested every single week, obviously, in this conference. Uh, and I'm excited about the expectations. Uh, you know, expectations for us are not a, are, they're not a burden. Uh, they're something that makes us stronger, uh, and so we want to embrace them. We want to, We want to be, uh, you know, preseason, you know, conference favorites. You know, we want that. Uh, it's an honor to be there, uh, and we don't take it lightly. Uh, and, uh, and I'm excited to see what this team can become.